Prologue Honestly, Furtick, Europe is engulfed in madness. The vibes I lunched with yesterday were besides themselves discussing correspondence from friends across Europe of the boldness of Germans. I fear this is far from over. Are we going to avoid this mess? How much will our lives change, darling? Greta sipped her coffee and affectionately smiled at her husband of nearly thirty years. My darling wife, you have been my strength for so many years. Our children's compassion comes from your influence. Smiling with affection, Furtick adds, Our daughter, Patricia, has a grace, beauty, and poise much like you possessed when we met. And Furtick is so full of honor and determination for someone so young. I am proud he joins the military to fight for our country, but I'm glad to have him reassigned closer to home. I love the family we've created, but the madness you mentioned is approaching. We can only go so far with diplomacy. I'm trying to negotiate. Getting support from our allies is our biggest challenge. You would think all Europeans would remember the devastation of the Great War and avoid this fighting. I know the noise and combat are ripping across the continent. The lunatic Hitler wants the ultimate control, and his ego knows no bounds. You're right. The times seem bleak with this test for humanity. Our Poland is a proud country with brave, honorable men who are willing to fight to protect their families and friends. We are, however, not a military machine like Germany. Frederick finished his toast and coffee, gently wiping his mouth with the embroidered napkin. Soundlessly moving back his chair by the crafted arms, he stood. Swiftly straightening his jacket and checking his cuffs, he smiled at his bride. Walking over to Greta, he patted her slender shoulder and kissed her cheek. Darling, just to be prepared in advance, please start to assemble some luggage. A clothes for each of us, currency, and information on our key contacts outside of Poland. A flicker of fear crossed her beautiful face before she smiled at the love of her life. Of course, I'll get some things ready, but I'm certain we won't need it unless we get to enjoy a weekend getaway. One bag each, right? <laughs>